Do you have one of these? If you don't, you may be a caveman who was frozen in a massive block of ice and only just thawed out. Well, if that's the case, then welcome to 2019. We have these amazing things called smartphones. They help us do amazing things with our photography and there's one app in particular that is my go-to that will give you an amazing result every time and it's called Snapseed. And in this video, you're going to learn 10 advanced effects that go beyond just basic color correction. So if you haven't already downloaded Snapseed, it's free. The first cool effect you wanna try is called Perspective. And if you're like me and you're so obsessed with symmetry that if your photo is even one millimeter out of line, it must be destroyed, then you're gonna like this. So tap that Perspective option and we simply drag our thumbs to change the perspective up and down as well as left and right. If you make tiny planets like me, this will help get your your planet looking as round as possible because sometimes they just don't turn out perfectly round. So an up and down perspective shift is going to help make your photo more symmetrical. There's also an option to rotate your perspective and you can squeeze the photo vertically or horizontally. Finally, there's free scale and this allows you to drag any individual corner closer or further away. Now check this out. With this photo, I thought I had it pretty good already, but when I shifted that perspective, I realized how asymmetrical the photo was to begin with. Whereas now, it's perfectly symmetrical. Stanley Kubrick will be happy. The next feature you wanna try is the expand option. If you framed or edited your photo and you cut out too much from the outside, you can now expand your photo and the algorithm predicts what pixels would be there in the missing space and adds them in. So with tiny planets, this will easily give you more sky around your planet. Next is something I use with every single photo and this is the healing function. Sometimes you have unwanted shadows and tripods in your shot that just don't need to be there. This is an easy way to paint them out. You simply select the healing function, paint out the unwanted detail in your shot, and voila, it's gone. I always like to go over my shots with a microscope and get rid of every last pixel that shouldn't be there. Damn you white pixel in the top right corner. How could you ruin my shot? Heal. This is also good for lens flares, removing annoying people that got in your shot. The healing function will be one of your best friends within Snapseed. Next is the selective tool, and this allows us to isolate individual areas of our photo and work on those independently. So say we have an area of color like the ocean here, and I wanna saturate that without affecting other things. I simply just tap on the area, and then I have the option to change brightness, saturation, contrast, and structure. You simply pinch the screen to make the area you're working on smaller or bigger. Once you're happy with one adjustment, it's easy to copy and paste the same thing all over your image. I also use the selective tool with almost every shot I take to brighten my face. With a tiny planet photo like I have here, because my head is so small, it's hard to see the details on my face, which is why zooming in and isolating that small little area will help me bring up the brightness and therefore the visibility when viewing this photo in full screen. And I think you'll agree that looks way better. There is actually an easier way to do this for standard portraits. Cheese. So this time we're going to select the portrait option and in the settings in the middle, we're going to choose face spotlight. Now we simply drag the slider all the way to the right and you can see my face is instantly lit up like there's a proper light in front of it. And there actually is by the way, but it makes the light brighter and more consistent across the entire face. The next cool effect in that portrait option is eye clarity. And again, we just slide the slider all the way to the right and we have instantly clearer eyes. I think this one is actually quite clever because when people can see your eyes clearly, they trust you and they can connect with you. By the way, any of these to the extreme is a bad idea. I notice under the portrait menu, they also have skin smoothing. Let's try it out. Oh, don't I look beautiful? Oh, it's like I just put on my first application of makeup for the day. Don't be that guy. The next extremely cool effect is called head pose. Look at that. <laughs> My head is moving from side to side, up and down. That's pretty incredible. The algorithm's got this really good. If you move your head and leave it, it looks like that's how the shot was originally taken. Mr. Ben, are you impressed with this effect? Yes, Mr. Ben, I am impressed. Mr. Ben, do you love me? No, I don't. You are a butthole. Hey! Okay, do you want another funny one? All right, let's do it. So in the same menu, head pose, we're going to hit the settings down the bottom Let's choose smile and drag it all the way to the right and see what happens. Oh, look at that. I just got a whole lot happier. And if I go the other way, I'm smiley frowning. Look at that. That's, that is actually quite cool. They've got this right, but it's 
extremely creepy. But if you use this just 10 or 15%, it looks legit like you're smiling 10% more. Before, after, before, after, before, after. Underneath smile, there's also an option for focal length. So if we drag that to the right, suddenly my head shape becomes a bit different. I look like a mutant. Well, really what this is, is it's simulating the look of different lenses. If I wanted it to look like I was shot on an 18 mil lens and it was a bit closer to me, this is what my face would look like. Not the most flattering look, but I can imagine with landscapes and photos where there aren't people in them, this would actually be quite a helpful effect. The final cool Snapseed effect you want to try is called Lens Blur. And this essentially simulates shooting with a shallow depth of field so we can blur out the background and keep the sharpness right around my face. You can change the blur strength. You can change the transition of the blur. So I'm going to make it a bit more in line with my head there. It's almost simulating the portrait mode for iPhone. So if you don't have a dual lens iPhone like this, you can still get a shallow depth of field shot by simulating it with Snapseed. All right, well, that's it. There are 10 awesome effects within Snapseed that you need to get out and try ASAP. I truly love Snapseed and I use it every single day. It doesn't matter if it's a free app. The things you can do with it make it a really good option for editing your photos on mobile. Just makes life easier, right? Who doesn't want life to be easy? Who? Who, 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 who let the dog? Hit that subscribe button and ring the little bell for more awesome photo and video tutorials coming out every single week. Also, by the way, if you wanna see the true power of Snapseed, head over to my Instagram profile and check out my photos because every single photo you see on my account was edited in Snapseed. So there you go. I grew my account to 27 point something K followers through making tiny plans with the 360 camera and editing them in Snapseed. All right, well, I'm feeling extremely happy today. So I'm going to go out and do some happy things. Bye.